Hey logo designers, today I want to talk to you about how you can set a logo in Logo Package Express that has overlapping components. So what do I mean by overlapping components? Well, this Big Ten Championship logo says big, but it also has the mark 10 inside of it. So we want to have this 10 as a symbol or an icon or logo mark separate from the big that it is also a part of. So these components are overlapping. There's a logo type and it's overlapping with a logo mark. So how do we deal with this inside of Logo Package Express? Well, let's take a look at what happens when you try to work the normal way. So I'm going to go ahead and set the logo and then I'm going to set the different components, right? So I've got this logo mark, I'll set that. I've got the logo type and then I've got this tagline and so now I will make web logos. And what we're gonna see is that we get the whole logo twice, the logo type twice, and the tagline. So something has clearly gone wrong here. Well, let me explain what's happening when you set your components. So you'll remember that the first thing that happened was we set the logo mark. What Logo Package is going to do is it's going to make a group out of this mark and it's going to designate that group as the mark. So then when we come in and we select the big logo type, we've basically demolished that group and absorbed it into the logo type group. So now the extension doesn't have a logo mark group anymore. It just has a logo type group. And this can cause all sorts of problems as we see with the logos that were generated. So in order to fix this, we're going to have to do a little bit of a workaround. So I'm going to restart this entirely. Okay, so before I set the logo, what I'm gonna to need to do is sort of hack the system. And to do that, I need to make a copy of the logo mark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to drag up a copy of the logo mark. Now I have three distinct components. I have the mark, I have the logo type, and I have the tagline here. So what I'm going to do is set all of these pieces. And this is gonna look a little strange and the outcome is gonna be a little strange, but it should work just the way you want it to. So now I will set the copy of the mark as the logo mark. I will set the big 10 as the logo type and then the championship as the tagline. And now when I make logos, I'm still gonna get some weirdness, but what you'll see is that we have the big 10 championship, the full logo here, we have the tagline if we need that. We have the logo type by itself and we have the logo mark. So now we can just delete all of these unnecessary versions. And once those are deleted, you can go ahead and export all the components that you wanted from this logo, just as you would expect. It just takes a little bit of a workaround. So that's how you can set a logo with overlapping components using Logo Package Express. Thanks for watching.